well, the support bracket to the hinge post, and uh, we're getting it level and square, level that way, level that way, and uh, if you've seen one of these before from the manual, you could tell that I've had to modify it, so unfortunately the manual does not call for provision on a four inch post which is probably the most common thing that we see so i had to angle it and cut it um, and uh, i'm just going to leave it just like that for now in case i've got to cut it off and then uh, i'll weld the support underneath it if, if that when the time comes but for right now, I'm just going to leave it like that. That'll be pretty easy to cut off if I need to. Now we'll get the arm out and um, start looking at welding the um, support piece across the pickets and uh, the support uh, bracket for the front arm. As you can see, I've mounted the strap that's going across the pickets um, to the front support bracket. And I've got my arm level and I've welded that support bracket, just tacked it on there. Um, I uh, had to notch out the back of the support bracket for the back of the actuator arm um, so we could get it to, uh, to work. I just notched it out with a grinder. The main thing I want to make sure is the arm is level and that it opens and closes. just fine so we still got more travel in there and we're at a 90 degree angle right now but we got more travel in there and our gates at 90 degree so and we've got a good angle on the on the actuator arm